This is a free book pickup that I just made. It's pretty absurd the amount of books. Filled up my small SUV. And uh, I had to even shove books in between the tubs because there just wasn't enough room to put more tubs in there. I just brought them to the warehouse or to my, uh, yeah, to my warehouse, to my store, and I'm going to go through them now. Even the front seat. I am going to make a couple videos about this, uh, separate videos about this pickup. This first one is, is essentially just, just talking about, you know, the whole situation with this pickup. And then I'll make another one, possibly two more, um, about, you know, sorting through it and as the results of some of the sorting, kind of go from there. Hopefully you can hear me. There's music in the background. There's a truck next door. I just turned on, <clears throat> so I'm getting close to the, <laughs> to the camera. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, this was something that came last week or over the weekend. I think on Thursday, someone called me person called me out of the blue I guess they found me online and they said they had 15 tubs of books could I pick them up and uh, I ended up setting it up for today which is Monday uh, November 6 2023 and I went uh, I went to go pick them up it turns out that they were just sitting on the porch well I knew they were on the porch they told me that but it turns out that they were sitting outside on the porch and it looks like they had been out there for quite a while, possibly a couple of years, considering how dirty they were. Not the books specifically, but the tubs had, they had all these bird seed all over it, dust, cobwebs, dirt, <laughs> etc. Um, so this is kind of one of the downsides of doing bulk pickups, is a lot of people don't tell you the condition of either the books or the tubs or boxes or whatever some people will tell you but this happens sometimes where they do not let you know that you're coming into a place where everything is pretty dirty thankfully the tubs some of them have the little handles here so they stay closed and the other ones they were pretty tightly closed but there was some that had broken the tops had broken partially so they had some openings and um, some of them were just open a little bit so they got some stuff in there. There were some spiders in there, you know, little bugs here and there and whatnot. So, you know, it's up to you as a, as a book reseller, as a person that might want to get books for free, whether or not you want to go through that kind of, kind of mess or pick up these kind of books that are in pretty rough shape. Uh, not necessarily the books, but at least the, as you can see here, the tub's pretty gross. And so you've got to deal with that. This one's got some encyclopedias in there. So I don't know what's in here exactly. I mean, I've seen some of it. I saw one had some, some manga, manga, manga books, which was good. But it's a lot of random stuff. They also had a couple of tubs of National Geographics, but they were too heavy, too big to get into the truck. So I just left them. Um, yeah, I took, a, I took some magazines, but not all of them. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just go through them and really just see if there's anything in here that's worth keeping. I already saw a Stephen King book, here it is. Stephen King, Insomnia, hardcover. That potentially has some value, we will see. Good old Stephen King book. These tend to do pretty well. Even if I only sell it for three or four bucks in the store, it's always nice to add some of his books to my inventory. So there's all kinds of random stuff here. Looks like there's a mixture of fiction and nonfiction. There's also some old textbooks that are unlikely to be worth anything but I'm really looking for you know first of all just uh, stuff on Amazon to see if anything pops up and then if anything's worth selling on eBay or if there's any sets or series or anything like that uh, and also I, I'm probably going to find a good amount to sell in my store to add to my store here and add to the shelves because uh, I'm always looking for new books because I have a lot of people that are looking for different types so what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to start going through it, and I'll let you know. So I finished going through everything. These are all empty. These are full of, bu of books I don't want, as well as that. Another one back there. These are all books I do not want. 
That is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it's 12 boxes. Those are all going to be um, tossed. However, I did, or I am going to keep all of these, which is really a lot. A lot. Which is awesome. There's some really great books here that I'm going to put in the store. So these are all for the store, excluding possibly... And we have this Warrior series, two of them. And there was another one, I believe. Oh yeah, it's down here. Kind of see it. I'm probably going to put a, those together as a lot. Clean them up and sell them on eBay. But all of this individual stuff is some of it. A couple of items, less than 10, I haven't looked up. But then this one is really cool. This is the Master Library. All nine editions for the whole set. That seems to sell decently on eBay. Also, I've got these stacks going. So this is all kids stuff that I might either sell in my store or locally. We'll see. Got Harry Potter here. I've got a good amount of his books. And then this one, whoops, Understanding Human Behavior is a series or a set. I'm actually missing one of them, believe it or not. There's 24, I have 23 of them, which is pretty annoying. So I'm gonna decide whether or not to try to sell them on eBay or locally uh, we'll see and then this one are some old law criminal books there's a bunch here five that are from a series I'm gonna look more into those to see if those are worth putting together in a lot and then all of these I've looked up for eBay to sell individually all these books here and this that's a set of four books this is a set of two um, these two don't go for that much, but a little, a little potential something extra there. The box is kind of messed up, but the books are in pretty good shape. These all individually, excuse me, individually I'm going to list. This one might be the most valuable. There's two on eBay. All, both of them listed for over a hundred. However, the only copy that sold in the last 90 days was one that went for around 50 bucks. So I'll do some more research on that one and see see what I can come up with. It's pretty interesting about the Jackson family. I've never seen that book before. And then all of these, these five books are going on Amazon. Um, these two sell pretty often. This one sells often. This one sells really often. This one is a long tail. So I think that's a pretty good pickup. Some pretty good pickups from this, from this free uh, book pickup. It was 15 tubs. Now I just have to get rid of all the ones I... I don't use, and we have a dumpster, that's where they go. Yes, I know, there's no, it's actually a recycling dumpster. They switched it out. But um, there's just too many books. You know if you sell bulk, and you know how many books are out there, <laughs> and how many are just no longer good or worth trying to um, sell to anybody. I picked out some that I'm gonna put in lo little free libraries, and also you saw the tons that I had there. I mean, how many did I have, do you think, stacked up 100 plus? easily for my bookstore here so those books alone will last me for quite a few weeks to put out each week uh, for the new inventory that I put out for my uh, for my weekly sale or just being open every week with new inventory so I'm always excited when I get a lot of new books in <clears throat> especially there were some really nice ones in there they were like um, a lot of different, a lot of different niches, a lot of different, different nonfiction niches as well as some fiction, uh, some some different types of genres. So it was really a bit eclectic. There's some law stuff, but there's also a lot of other types, and um, I'm looking forward to going through those, pricing some of those out, and putting them out in my store. And I think with these two alone, plus some of those other sets that I showed you, I should do pretty well between Amazon and eBay, and do exceptionally well in my store because for me again it's not just about finding books that I can sell for good profit in the store it's just having a good selection a continuously good selection of different types of books i.e. different fiction titles different nonfiction titles different genres so that my repeat customers will see that I'm always putting out um, interesting stuff that they potentially want to read and pick up same goes for all the other types of media of course but in terms of books it's the same thing and so I get excited about that for sure. Uh, this was a lot of physical work. I, when I started filming the first part of the video, it was around 10 and now it is 
12.30 as I am filming this, but I finished about 15 minutes ago. So it took a little over two hours to get through everything, which isn't too bad considering how many books there were. Um, it's just too too bad that, that unfortunate that they were so, you know, the tubs were so gross and, and you have to deal with all of that, but not so bad. Um, it's one of the worst pickups I've made in terms of how filthy it was, but again, the, they were in tubs, so they were pretty well uh, contained, pretty um, pretty good shape, the books overall. There were some that were rough shape, but you know, mostly it's just dust. Some dust I gotta clean off, a few, a few uh, bird seeds here and there, and you know, it's not too bad. But that's the kind of stuff that, that you're gonna have to deal with if you really wanna get into picking up, doing local pickups in your area. Uh, you know, I, I just wouldn't turn this stuff away because there was some really unique stuff in here. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed something or enjoyed something. Well, hope you learned something. Uh, enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.